So, um, I was very much interested in your answering the question, in you answering the question, what would, how would you describe the difference between clean coaching and therapy doing clean therapy? Mm -hmm. yeah. mm. It's an interesting one. And of course, if I was being clean, I would ask what each person <laughs> in the group thought. Yeah. Um, but you did say that you'd like to know what I thought. For me, um, if I have a coaching contract with a team or with an individual, my job is to coach them to use the patterns and beliefs that they currently have. Mm. So it's to work with what is there. Mm. And if I have a therapeutic contract, what they're saying is that the patterns and what is there is not working for them and they'd like it to shift. And so sometimes, if I'm coaching, um, so, so generally that's, that's, the, that's the difference. You're working with what is and how you can use it better. And with therapy, you're working with what is because they've asked for transformation. And that's their agreement. However, if I'm working with uh, doing executive coaching, my client says, oh, yeah, just before I lose my temper with my team, it's like, and I say, what kind of a, is that? She says, no, I don't know, but it, it's right here. It's really interesting because all my life I've had this, this feeling of, of when I really want to go somewhere, I get this, 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 and then I get really angry. So and you, all your life, you've got this feeling you want to go somewhere and you get this. She says, yeah, you know, I know what it is. She says, it's my mother pulling my reins. She said, when I was little, I used, used to run around, but I had reins on. Whenever I went too far away, she would pull them back and I would scream. And you go, okay. So now I've got a little bit of a choice as a coach. I can go and do inner child work so that this woman doesn't need to carry around the reins from her mm -hmm. three-year-old, mm -hmm. in which case we've moved into therapy. Mm -hmm. Or I keep the pattern as it is. I say, okay, and whenever you want to go somewhere, you get this, <gasps> and then you get really angry with your team, and that's, they've been complaining about it, and now you've come for coaching. What would you like to have happen when you do have this, <gasps> and she might say, I, I, I don't want this anymore, and I say, okay. Given that you've had it all your life, that means we might be moving a little bit more into a bit of therapy. Um, does that mean that we need to recontract? Or she might say, I just need to recognise it and manage it so that I don't take it out on my team. That's okay. Mm -hmm. And then we could work with what is, recognising it. Mm -hmm. See, so to me, it's, yeah. quite, it's quite a specific difference. This is transformation and this is coaching as working with what is to get the best result that you can. Mm -hmm. And you're giving actually the choice for the client to make a decision whether he wants to go into there or he, 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 he's ready or he has enough resources to deal with it. And if it's a serious thing, which I have had recently, where we went for coaching on one thing about anxiety mm -hmm. and then they've gone, actually this is a really deep-seated mm -hmm. thing I've, I've never told anyone about, then I've had to say, I can't work on this under the contract I have with your mm -hmm. company. Mm -hmm. So now what would you like to have happen? Mm -hmm. So you're defining the frame that you're within. Yes, my contract mm -hmm. is not to do mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. this work. And so it would be wrong of me to carry on that work because what they needed now was at least six sessions. Yeah. And I didn't want to open this up when I was yeah. allowed to have three. Mm -hmm. And this was our second session. Mm -hmm. I couldn't open this up mm -hmm. under this contract. It wouldn't be right. Mm -hmm. So we've renegotiated and I said, it's probably not a thing for you to do at work. Mm -hmm. We have these sessions outside of work. Mm -hmm. Did you make a decision to work on that? Yes. Well, great. Yeah. Yeah. I, I just t this morning I just got the, the question of how not to go too deep into it. The, the, the one of the uh, clients said that she wants to bring some clean language into her business, but she wants to make absolutely sure that she doesn't go into the therapy. Yes. So that would be a very good answer for her. Either. So those are you just keep it no more than two or three questions. Mm -hmm. If you're working in a group no more than two or three questions to any one person. Mm -hmm. And that keeps it, that whatever they first presented, ask them a couple of questions about that, but you don't start pulling back, pulling mm -hmm. back, pulling back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because then you'll be into their inner world. Mm 
Mm -hmm. So two to three questions is your minimum in a business mm -hmm. or where you have a coaching contract. Mm -hmm. So for me it sounds like to, to stay on more on surface level than to go too deep into the stuff. Don't get me wrong. Right. Even on that surface level you will have big insights and big changes. Okay. It's about where they get the changes. In therapy, I can go into deep trance, I can work with the inner child, I can work. And if I'm in coaching, mm -hmm. I'm more on a conscious level. Mm -hmm. and we go just deep enough for them to recognize it and then go, now what are we going to do about it? Mm -hmm. So it's, it's not that it's not deep and powerful work, but you, it is on a, this level. Not a surface level because it's not important, but okay. just this level. Is it something about the clean and cleanish? Or it's a different thing? It's a different thing. Mm -hmm. um, if you use pure clean questions with a lot of um, space and a hypnotic, then you will take somebody into trance, mm -hmm. which may not be appropriate at business. Mm -hmm. So what I do say to people is, if you want to learn clean, if you've learned symbolic modeling mm -hmm. and to work one-to-one -one therapeutically, and then you want to take it into business, go and do some training with people who know how to do it in business. Mm -hmm. If you've done it in business mm -hmm. and then you want to start doing it more in therapy, get some proper training. Yeah, make sure, because if you're going to do therapy, you need to have a supervisor, you need to have done your own therapy. Mm -hmm. They have different rules to these two fields. Mm -hmm.